Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Glad to have you with us for another comedy reaction from Billy Boy, as we like to call him. Bill, Bill Billy. Bill Burr. Uh, one of our favorite comedians that we've been introduced introduced to on the mm -hmm. channel. Yeah, he's awesome. Um, never knew who he was before we started this channel. You guys recommended, hey, why don't you do some Bill Burr? Yeah, and, fire uh, suggestion from you guys. Yeah, lots of fire suggestions so far. Only a couple of them we didn't find you know, absolutely hilarious. They were okay, but they were, you know, just like everything in life, you're all not going to like 100%. Yeah, so, you're always going to he, have your favorites. He's batting right? pretty high up there. We'll, we'll say that, mm -hmm. right? You, you've uh, you've enjoyed most of his stuff. That's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. there's only been like one or two that I was like, eh, whatever, but most of them I was dying. Yeah, and so. even though you still get a couple of laughs, yes. he always gets a couple of laughs out of you. Yeah. It's a great delivery. Anyways, so uh, we got Bill Burr, Motherhood Isn't the Hardest Job. We've never heard this one before. First time reaction. I think this might be a little bit older okay. uh, version so from him. Have hair in this one. He may. Um, we we are not sure. Just That's yet, how we but... you know decipher pre hair, post hair era. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyways, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and joined this community, we encourage you to do so. We got tons of comedy on here. We got sports. We got music, and uh, we love dropping content. So you yeah, can be variety. you can be assured that uh, we'll be consistent in terms of giving you new stuff to, to to drop in on. So, with that said, you ready? Let's do it. All right, guys, let's go. Fantastic. The other day I got into an argument with my girlfriend, right? She likes watching the Oprah Winfrey show, and I love to watch her watch the Oprah show. And then I wait for Oprah to say something that I don't agree with, and then I take it out on my girlfriend, because I'm an asshole. <laughs> so, Oprah brings out this guest, she gives her this huge intro. She's been on this, she's been on that, and she does the most difficult job on the planet. She's the mother. So immediately I look at my girlfriend, I'm like, really? Being a mom is the most difficult job on the planet. How many mothers died on ice road truckers last season? <laughs> <laughs> Any moms get washed overboard on deadliest catch? I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but what would you rather have as a job? You want to scoop scallops off the bottom of the ocean, <laughs> catching that lobster trap to the back of your head? Or do you want to hang in the sunshine with a couple of rugrats? You'd send them to bed anytime you want and some trumped up charges because you want to have a drink and watch the prices, right? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe it is the most difficult job. I mean, I thought roofing in the middle of July is a redhead, you know? I thought that that was a difficult job. I really did. I thought it was difficult. But evidently, Evidently, these mothers, they're bending over at the waist, putting DVDs into DVD players, going to war, pinned down by a sniper. What a joke! You ever burp a baby and forget to put that towel up there? There's another shirt you gotta wash. Oh, lift with your knees and put it in that machine that does it for you. Dude, any job you can do in your pajamas is not difficult. It isn't. I'm sure it's... Yeah, to hell with these mothers. <laughs> Watching cartoons, taking naps. <laughs> Look, I'm messing around, but you know, come on. I know it's a difficult job, but the most difficult job on the whole planet... Remember when Saddam let the oil fields on fire and those poor bastards had to go put them out? 4,000 degrees, walking in with your little asbestos shield, just walking into flames. <laughs> You want to do that or watch Bob the Builder again? I mean, be honest with yourself. <laughs> this is interesting because off the bat, I feel like it's um, a little more commercial. You know, like Bill's own bits and his own shows are obviously much more vulgar. Yes. Right? And this yeah, seems yeah. like a little lighter Bill. Yeah. No, it's still like he's still his style and he's still yeah, going yeah. at motherhood. But there's also swearing. Yes, yeah, it's, and it's not, like it's a little more PG, we'll say. Yeah, maybe. I agree. I mean, be honest with yourself. <laughs> I got a dog recently. I did. I went down to the pound. I got one of those free dogs. Yeah, that's how I say it. I don't say I rescued a dog. I hate when people say that. It's like totally obnoxious, it's a complete exaggeration. She's a rescue, yeah, I rescued her. Really, did you pull her out of a burning building? 
Did you jump in a river with your clothes still on, with no concern for your own safety? Or did you just go down to the pound and get a free dog? Isn't that what you did? <laughs> Stop acting like you had to take out a couple of guards, crawl in on your elbows using hand signals. Dude, you ever go down to the pound? They're just giving them away. They don't even do a background check. You want them? Hey, get out of here. <laughs> Who's next? You want a poodle? Come on, you got a perm. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> Actually, my, uh, my girlfriend got the dog when I, was, uh, when I was on the road. I was on the road, she got the dog. Classic girlfriend move, right? That's just a 10 to 15 year commitment. Why would you include me in that decision? <laughs> what would I need to know? So we're Skyping. I thought she got one of those little shit dogs, you know? Like a Yorkshire Terrier or something you could punt across the room if it got out of line, right? <laughs> <laughs> something you could take your day out on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> So we're Skyping. I go, let me see it. So she pans around, and I think I'm going to see, you know, some little, little ch chihuahua, whatever the hell those dogs are. I'm, I'm immediately staring at like this hellhound. This just massive dog, and it looks... I start freaking out. I'm like, is that a pit bull? Please tell me you didn't get a pit bull. She's like, it's not a pit bull. It's a mix. <laughs> mix with what? Another pit bull? Look at that thing. <laughs> it's like it's been doing pull-ups its entire life. <laughs> its front paws were still taped up and shadow boxing. <laughs> it's got a teardrop tattoo. It's a pit bull. What more do you need to see? Oh, it gets worse. Her and a friend actually didn't get it down at the pound. They found it by the Los Angeles River. Yeah, this thing was the real deal. She's sitting there going, it was out there for 10 days. Don't you think that's sad? No, it's scary. Because judging by its physique, it got plenty of protein <laughs> over the last week and a half. It wasn't eating nuts and berries, all right? It was choking out joggers. It was twisting heads off of rabbits. You brought a murderer into the house. Just rescue an alligator while you're at it. Stick it under the bed, add to the excitement. <laughs> you know what's great though? I fell in love with the dog. Absolutely love this dog, and I'm totally sold on the breed. And I know a lot of people don't like pit bulls because they ate a couple of kids. I understand that. <laughs> I'm telling you, you owe it to yourself at some point in your life to walk down the street with a pit bull. You gotta do it. It's tremendous. People just get out of the way. Three, four blocks away, they see me coming. They immediately start crossing the street. I love it. I feel like a king. I don't know why black people complain about that. I love having the whole side of the street to myself. It's awesome. Yeah. Black people have no idea how difficult it is as a white man to have to walk down the street every half a block, have frivolous conversations about the weather. <laughs> oh, I'm mad thinking it's gonna rain. Why? Why do we have to have this conversation? No, it's tremendous. I like the respect. Look at me. My whole life I've looked like Ron Howard. You realize that? <laughs> My whole life I've been mugged repeatedly. I've never had any street cred whatsoever. The second they see this four-legged P90X body coming down the street, that's it. It's the best dog on the planet. You gotta get a pit bull. I'm telling you, man, it's like a gun you can pet. <laughs> Get two of them, come down to you, just strapped. All of a sudden, there's no line at the ATM. You like, it's just the whole world opens up for you. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up here. I, uh, I had lunch the other day. Uh, I'm a big time conspiracy theorist. I drive my girlfriend nuts, you know? I think they're about ready to microchip all of us. Yeah, they got this commercial down in the States, you know? They, you got that commercial up here for Duracell batteries? They're selling batteries and the commercial is, some woman can't find her kid in the park. That's how they're selling batteries. The hell kind of way is that to sell batteries? Do you remember the old commercials? They just show some guy in a rainstorm, has a flat, pulls out a flashlight. Oh, thank God he had Duracell. <laughs> you see how wet I'm getting. That was it. Now they're showing this woman she can't find her kid in the park. She's sitting there going, Kevin? Kevin? Has anybody seen Kevin? Sitting there freaking out, then she pulls out this little device. Beep, 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 beep. And here comes Kevin running out of the woods. And they're like, Duracell batteries. It's like, dude, the hell with the batteries? What was that thing she just took out of her pocket? <laughs> How did Kevin know to come out of the woods? He didn't have an antenna, his sneakers weren't glowing. What the hell is in Kevin that's connected to that device? <laughs> Don't just show me that like that's normal. Oh, yeah, robot kids. Hey, must go see mommy. <laughs> 
You guys were awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. People say, do you ever smoke marijuana? I go, I don't need another reason to be hungry. Like, you ever seen a guy hit on a woman through a group of... Oh, Billy Boy. Yeah, you know, like I said, I don't think he cursed once in that, did he? He did, once or twice. Did he? Because right after you said that, like, five minutes, like, a couple of minutes, not five minutes, but uh, a couple of minutes I later, it. I was like, there we go. <laughs> I, enjoyed, I enjoyed this one, like I said, it, was, it's, it wasn't as um, shocking, shock value, I would say. Yeah. Um, I think it was, you know, like... I, I mean, like, he said a couple of things in there that I was like, damn. Yeah, but he has said some other things that, yeah. you know, whether it's uh, it's about women or Coco Chanel or black people or Elvis or whatever. Yeah. Like, he's gone pretty far. So, yeah, that's fair. Um, I would say this one was a little lower key in terms of the shock value, but it yeah. was still found it funny. I found it good, so I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. It was funny. And, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed our reaction to Bill Burr. Motherhood isn't the hardest job, and <laughs> pit bulls are very intimidating, and you should all go buy Walking a pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> if you did hit that like button for us leave us a comment let us know what you thought any other comedians that you guys enjoy hit those in the comments as well if you haven't subscribed hit that button come join us on this journey and go check out our other comedic videos we've got lots of them up by now so with that, it, that's it for us today we'll be back soon with another one thanks for watching guys see you soon